Um, my name is Kipchanui Kelvin, and I'll be taking you through the, the, today's part of the health nugget. But before we get into it, let's believe and pray. Um, Heavenly Father in heaven, we come before you at this hour. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for getting us here um, well alive and healthy. I pray that as, we, as I'm going to take your people through the health nugget, may my message be understood well, and may we have a blessed and happy Sabbath. I pray this touching and believing in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so today um, we're going to talk about um, periodontal diseases. I'm not sure if you can see it on the screens over there. Um, but, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you about periodontal diseases, which is, um, um, it's simply um, a disease affecting the gums of your teeth or, or the tissue surrounding the teeth as well as the, the bone that holds the, the teeth inside the mouth. And... These periodontal diseases may lead to loosening of teeth and eventual loss of the teeth and um, destroying the, the bone as well. Periodontal diseases are, are the leading cause of tooth loss in adults and almost 75% of adults have some form of periodontal disease and, and most people are unaware that they have the condition. Also, most, almost all adults and many children have calculus, also known as starch on their teeth which um, if you can see the, the image to the right, that's a classical example of um, tata or calculus, which is uh, basically due to um, hardening, of, hardening of the plaque around your teeth, which cannot be, cannot be removed by just with brushing. It has to be removed um, using some machines by, by your dentist. Um, and fortunately, with the early detection and treatment of periodontal, periodontal disease, most people can keep their teeth for life. Okay. And then, um, now let's look at some of the causes of periodontal disease, the causes and the, the risk factors for, for catching uh, periodontal disease. First of all, we have the, 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 the main culprit, which is dental plaque. Dental plaque is the major cause of periodontal, periodontal disease, and it is an outcome of poor oral hygiene. For example, lack of regular tooth brushing or poor tooth brushing techniques that lead to um, plaque being retained around your teeth. The second cause or the second risk factor for catching a periodontal disease is smoking. Smokers are four times more likely to develop periodontitis as non-smokers. This is because smoking increases levels of certain pathogens and has a negative effect on the immune response as well and also slow down wound healing. So um, the image to the right, the upper right image shows an um, example of how smoking may, uh, may lead to periodontal disease and as you can see the, the oral hygiene and the oral profile is not very good and that's how smoking may may lead you to lose your teeth eventually. Um, next, next um, we have medications. Medications such as um, anti-epileptics, for example, phenytoin, for people who have epilepsy and um, immunosuppressants may cause periodontal disease. <clears throat> next, we have, next, we have stress. Psychological stress may, may lead you to have um, periodontal disease or um, gum disease because of the, you know, the lowered immune, immune response and, and all that that may, may manifest as periodontal disease. And next, um, we have systemic conditions that may present with periodontal issues. Um, for example, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and poor nutrition. You find that um, in the case of diabetes, for example, the, the kind of periodontal disease that they present with is the, the aggressive type. That's, um, that's very difficult to treat. And so, 
um, if you have um, such a case, such an issue, you should have it checked regularly, well, well managed to avoid complications like those ones. The, image, the lower right image is uh, an example of, of drug-induced periodontal um, disease. And you can see the, the swelling and redness around the gums. And then finally, we have pregnancy. During pregnancy, um, you, might, you might find that your gum are maybe swollen or reddish or painful. And that's um, one example of periodontal issues that come during pregnancy. And so you should be in close consultation with your dentist uh, in case such a, a case arises during, during pregnancy. And then we, let's look at some of the how periodontal diseases manifest the signs and symptoms. First of all, um, we have um, sw uh, redness or swollen and painful gums. This is how it will present mostly. The gums will be swollen and they will be painful, for example, when you're brushing. And also they'll be red because of, um, it's an inflammatory process. And then we have persistent bad breath. You might be, yeah, you might be um, observing the proper oral hygiene um, practices and everything, but you find that um, you have consistent bad breath which doesn't go away. So that could be a sign, a symptom of periodontal issues which need to be checked by your dentist. And the other symptom is bleeding gums while brushing or flossing. And then we have loosening or separating of teeth. And then there's pain and pressure while chewing and pass around the teeth and gums. And finally, gums pulling away from teeth, which is otherwise known as um, a clinical attachment loss, whereby the gum around your teeth will be pulled away, and that's the, like, the first steps in, in losing your teeth. So watch out for such, such symptoms. Um, periodontal disease, like many other diseases, have complications. And so um, we'll have a look at the complications or the, the, the horrendous outcomes of periodontal disease. First is um, complete lo loss of teeth. So um, in, in dental practice, you notice that um, mostly the elder people um, present with um, total loss of teeth. And when you ask, you check at the history, they were probably smokers or they didn't really, they weren't really observing or they weren't really very careful about their oral health. So they lose their teeth eventually and they'll need dentures and such kind of restorative treatments. And the next complication is NOMA. NOMA is a, is a severe outcome of periodontal disease that mostly affects children um, from poor backgrounds who have poor nutrition, and the image on the lower left is, a, is an example of how NOMA presents, whereby the, the, the jaw is obliterated and the, the, the face is disfigured. And then the image to the right, the upper right image, is, a, is a, an example of severe periodontal disease, whereby the, the gum has swollen around the teeth, covering the entire teeth. That's one of the severe outcomes of periodontal disease. And the final complication is oral cancers. Oral cancers like um, squamous cell carcinoma may develop um, following a periodontal disease. And that's just one of the, the most undesirable um, outcomes of periodontal issues. So um, something needs to be done about these kind of um, diseases. And as usual, the best, um, the best um, the best treatment is actually prevention because you realize that um, once your teeth have lost the attachment, the gums have been, have been resolved from the teeth, it's, it's irreversible. Nothing can be done about it. So prevention is what you, you can do to avoid it. And the, the, the first thing you can do to prevent it is just observing good oral hygiene practices by, by brushing twice a day, by observing the uh, proper brushing te the techniques as advised by your dentist. And next is um, smoke cessation. If you, if you are a smoker or you know someone who, who smokes mostly cigarettes, uh, you, you sh they should be advised to, to quit because smoke 
leads to periodontal disease as well as many other systemic conditions. But in the event of periodontal disease happening, the, the doctor may, may prescribe drug regimens, for example, some antibiotics to kill the bacteria that causes periodontal issues. And also, in case, in case your plaque has built up and hardened into tartar or calculus, then what is done is something called scaling and root planing, whereby a, a machine is used to clean up the teeth to remove that hardened calculus on, around the teeth. And finally, there is oral surgical intervention, of, uh, including full mouth debridement to get rid of the to get rid of the of the tartar as well. So that's all I had for today, and I hope you've learned, some, you've learned something. Just uh, just to recap, um, periodontal diseases are those that um, that affect your gums, um, the the tissues that um, attach to your gums together in place and the bones are uh, be beneath the teeth that may lead to loss of teeth eventually and destroying the bone as well. It's caused by several factors including plaque, smoking, some medications, psychological stress, systemic conditions like diabetes and periodontal issues arising during um, pregnancy. It, it may present with um, symptoms like, like redness, swelling and pain, pain in the gums persistent bad, bad um, breath, and um, loosening or separating of teeth. Some, some main complications are complete loss of, loss of teeth, leading to requirements of a full denture, and noma and oral cancers as well. So that's all I had for today. May you have a blessed Sabbath.